Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Tuesday here. I believe it's the 8th. 8th of December. About 15 trading days left in the year. Startling to say that out loud, but here we are. Um, got the ES chart up here first. New high yesterday but couldn't really couldn't really hold on to that might be a little turning bar there we'll have to see is it a little shooting star as the boys who like to label these things would say what does it really mean it means we kind of made a new high pretty big range kind of closed where we opened in decision now we've gapped down um, could probably sell up into this gap today I think uh, hard to get hard to get bearish certainly not bullish uh, but hard to get bearish with financial conditions where they are and heading into the ECB which is surely gonna be super dovish but We'll see. Interesting. Kind of looking at this and wondering now. I guess you really want confirmation below 65. 36.65. Anyway, back to currencies. Floating around now. Taking out some uh, week longs. Waiting for the ECB uh, is the best way to describe it. Not a lot uh, going on today. Italy is out today. I can see Italian bank holiday, whatever that means. Uh, we got zoo today, German zoo. And then we've got labor costs in the U.S. That's sort of an inflation number. But not much on the calendar today. Uh, things start to heat up a little bit uh, tomorrow with the Bank of Canada. Uh, but today is going to be driven by sentiment and stocks. Uh, not much to do here in Euro, really. I mean, don't really want to sell high ones. Don't really want to buy low ones. Gun to my head, I would be short. Um, but I think it's just going to float around. Cable, on the other hand, um, you want to be long this. We talked about fishing for pounds down at 132.70. Went all the way down to 132.25. Here we are, 133.65. Our opinion is Brexit is going to get done, or some soft Brexit, or some bullshitty compromise Brexit, or whatever. Uh, it's going to get done after four and a half years of haggling. And Cable's going to close the year, sort of 145. So we're trying to trade around this idea. Uh, and it means buying dips. It doesn't mean uh, paying high ones because by the time you pay high ones you're gonna you know once the deal is done it'll probably come off a little bit right there's so much insider bullshit in this market right um, the people with the negotiations are kind of driving this bus but you see we're in an uptrend with lots of crazy down bars very difficult to trade but you want to buy or be core long um, cable. What we do is we just try and buy, harvest profits, wait for the next idiotic spill lower, and try and buy low ones. Um, worked out yesterday, but it was painful, right? I mean, you know, it was sat down there between 30 and 70 for hours, uh, but eventually did come good. Dollar Swiss, interesting bar yesterday, took out all the longs. Uh, we were playing on the long side. We did sell some at the high end of the range, but then we rebought and then just kind of had to scut scuttle the whole thing as we were trading down through uh, 85. Interesting bar that. I don't know what happened there, um, except for the fact that I think a lot of people who were long dollar Swiss had the same idea that we had from Friday and um, just got snipped. Not super clear where to go from here. 
Dollar yen, we're just waiting for 103.70 now. It's a very interesting point. Uh, we won't be playing around with this. Uh, 104.77 is also interesting. Those are your two points, 103.70, 104.77. Euro yen looks like she wants to go lower. Um, had an interesting, uh, interesting bar here. End of the day, 97, all the way back up to 49. She looks like she wants to turn. Support is down at 125.11. There are some CTAs who are long who bought through this uh, 125.11. Um, Pre-ECB squeeze lower is the call in um, Euro Yen. Dollars are just sitting here banging on the lows. Triple bottom now, 1510. If you want to get short, there's no point in getting short here. Just wait till we make a new low and then have a professional stop. We're very skeptical of this. Um, no dog in this fight for now, but it's an interesting technical setup. If this wasn't dollars are, we would. Of course, we'd be selling through 15, uh, 15, 11, 15, 10 region. Max also just ding donging down here uh, at the lows, consolidation to, before it decides which uh, which way to go. Selling high ones did pay yesterday, as we kind of talked about. We didn't think it was going to get above 20. It went all the way up to 99. Funny. But just more consolidation today, dollar max. Aussie gave us a reverse dollar Swiss bar, right? Got banged. Down to 73.72. All the way back up to 74.50. <clears throat> Looks like she wants to turn, but is just having a hard time. Uh, hard time with it. Tricky, tricky bars last couple of days. Euro Aussie not doing anything. Aussie yen. Yeah, this is probably your your horse if you want to be a risk off. Um, are we going to get back above seventy seven fifty? Probably not. Kiwi yen. Same sort of chart. We sold Kiwi yesterday up at fifty. Doji at thirty six. I don't know. These things all look like they want to, they want to turn. But then you get these moves. That's what. 08 to 60. That's like a one percent move. Crazy. But this is also often what happens when things are turning. Both the longs and the shorts get fucked. Um, and then the real turn will be down here through 70 cents. <clears throat> Maybe ECB day, um, or dollar CAD day. Be interesting to see <clears throat> tomorrow what uh, the Bank of Canada does. This will have a big impact on on dollar CAD. Pretty sure they're going to be dovish, but no point in putting position on before um, before BOC Blue Oyster Cult Dollar China sitting down here at the lows, and then finally this asshole chart. We talked about it yesterday, whether 52 uh, was going to be a break trade, and, and uh, as I recorded it, I said, no, it's not. It's just going to mope around between 50 and 60. You'll have plenty of time to wait for that hourly close and then buy some on the dip. So we got our hourly close, but it was already at 60. It didn't dip at all. So we all had these lonely hard bids at 55. No one got filled. Uh, then some guys chased, some more people stopped, and turned into a real, real good level that very few, very few nickels were earned. Annoying. Gold's been incredibly annoying. Um, gotta work on my gold game. It's not that good. ZB, you wanna sell high ones here? Looking at this yield, this is going to close above 176, I think, at the end of the year. 
as we're leaning towards a little bit of risk off today, that's just the lean, you can just chuck some offers in, right? So this, if we're in risk off, this tends to float up a bit. So maybe, uh, maybe up at 172.17 to sort of 27, just chuck some high offers in ZB. Um, we still like this thing lower continuing this like sort of soft downtrend killing me softly killing me softly with his song killing me softly the F Fujis the Fijis anyway uh, 19,400 Bitcoin consolidation we made our new high didn't like it above 20,000 now it looks like we're risk we're risking a little bit of a, a move back lower um, but core long Bitcoin is the way we've lightened up up here we have some lonely bids down below for basically whatever that nonsensical idiot move is going to be it always happens in Bitcoin um, so just be prepared for that I would say as you can see, uh, pretty light at the open here today. Nothing really to sink our teeth into. No great levels nearby. Um, I guess this is probably the best level, but it's pretty. Um, it's a pretty weak level, 125.86. Um, but euro yen lower, we kind of like this lower. Aussie yen, we kind of like it lower. Maybe sell some stocks at the uh, at 91. But real gentle, real light. No real conviction this morning, so just keep it light. Try and scratch some cash um, and wait for better setups. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.